concern over Hunka scandal. That's when the Canadian Parliament gave a standing ovation to the Adolf H uh, side of World War II soldier just a little bit ago. Contributed to delay of unveiling victims of communism memorial. Planning for unveiling came to a grinding halt on October 13, according to records obtained by this newspaper under the Access of Information Law. And this article just came out a couple days ago. The unveiling of the Victims of Communism Memorial was put on hold because of the controversy over parliamentarians honoring a Waffen SS soldier and potential links between the monument and Yahtzee collaborators. Newly released records show. You cannot have anti-communism without having Yahtzees, without having fash. The article goes on to say, we've already chatted about the issues with the Wall of Remembrance, so I think you can imagine that the recent incident of the Ukrainian SS officer who was honored in the House had an impact on this project, especially as the matter of possibly Yahtzee collaborators being included on the wall has been previously reported in the media. It is important to note that many anti-communist and anti-Soviet advocates and fighters were also active Yahtzee collaborators who committed documented massacres. Mm-hmm.